Okay, okay, all right, ladies and gents, we are going to be doing this Halls of the Dead. My team has a faster internet connection than me, so I'm always at the back. Uh, th this dungeon is called Halls of the Dead. You need a gear score of 975 and a level of 31. And the way you get through this dungeon is DPS for the first, first boss. If you don't have DPS, you cannot get through this first boss. Unfortunately, that's just a reality. So you want to have legendary weapons or have a Panacea's Elixirs and a food buff for a critical hit rate, depending on your build, if you're going for a crit damage build or a crit damage if you have high crit rate in your build or vice versa, just eat for Panacea's that have blades or uh, Elixirs of blades as well. All right, so first, you can actually pull these, uh, these, these, uh, these two Golemites instead of fighting the big guys. The big guy's in the middle, that's the boss. You don't you don't actually want to fight him, so you wanna wait. And boom. Alright, so there you go. You wanna pull these guys? Uh and we just kill these guys first. I'm right now I'm on my ranger because this dungeon is one of the best dungeons for a ranger because of the fact that you get your attack chest which sells for like 800,000 on the market and you also get cosmetics that sell for like four or five hundred thousand and if you get lucky you get a necklace and you can sell that for another four hundred thousand star seeds. Yeah I see it. Alright, so once you beat these two bosses, little little golemites, we actually have the big boss fight. <sighs> you guys ready? Cool, so now we basically go in and fight this big guy. What you're really looking out for in this uh, part of the dungeon is you're actually looking out for um, when his shield goes over his body. That's the time when you actually want to mark him if you're a ranger um, and blizzard or meteor or just any of your big moves. Wait, what just happened? Oh, there was a nice little lag right there. The way he gets damaged is you actually break the shield. So now once you break the shield, that's where his health comes down. So as you saw, a big chunk of his life was completely eliminated right there. Then his shield goes back up again. Here goes the extra mark. Uh oh, what's going on? Little skips. Oh, I should have waited to do this after the server update. I can let it settle for a bit. After you hit him twice or so, then he does these little purple um, rock drops right there and you don't want to get hit by that. Well, if you do get hit by it, I'm going to stand in front of it so you can see uh, you get stunned a little bit. Yeah, I got you. He is a melee boss, so he's really easy to beat. You don't have to worry about him launching anything at you really. The only time is if you don't meet the DPS check, he will uh, freeze you. And if he freezes you, he's gonna actually gonna freeze more than one person at a time. All right, so here goes the next. We're just gonna keep rinsing and repeating till the end of this done. Th this boss fight. I'm right here, I just got stunned. I missed. He 
Here comes the mark. I actually just disconnected, so I'm just gonna have to drop the video. I'll do it some other time. I'll still finish the dungeon though. I'm actually loading in right now. I'm almost there. I'm at 93%. So if I go down, I'm back. Should I get up or no? Oh, yeah, I'm reloading my bullets. There we go. Ah, oh, we can still keep going. Alright, that's it. He's dead. Oh, that's how you get through this boss. Just pure DPS. Or just discredit the, the d disconnect, yep. Yeah, I was kind of bummed because I thought I was going to be able to get that boss kill at the end. But, you know, this works out. We still progress. Start off where I left off. There's some pretty cool people out there just 
It's usually just guys being toxic to uh, them that pretty much pushes them away. Like, I have a friend of mine who's a partner on Mixer and she plays this game. gonna spin oh right, well you're gonna have, you're gonna have to go to the pyre go to the pyre because we're, we're gonna well no there isn't you gotta go to the pyre so that way you don't have that um, penalty Ready, Katana? <laughs> all right, so now we're all back. So this next boss fight is against Royza. And we're just gonna get some early DPS on her. So when she puts her hands up, she does mine. So that's what you want to back off. You want you don't want to fight. You don't want to attack or hit because if you have a low defense, that's gonna hurt a lot. You always gotta pay attention because she's two just two different things. She does like a honeycomb effect, like in the mid tier of the fight, but in the beginning it's usually uh, the mines. Pretty soon she's going to chain somebody up in a bit. So here goes the mines and you don't want to be stuck in an attack animation when you're trying to dodge out of all this. Like what just happened to Katana. It's all good Katana, you're being a prime example, it's all good, it's all good. So now you didn't reset your, your, your rest timer dude, you're going to have to use seeds. I don't, I can't. You, you, no, you have to like for sure say that it was reset. All right, now you have to grab the shield and basically throw your throw your shield and blow up this little purple mine that, that pops up. Because otherwise, the person that's chained is ends up dying. Here comes the mines, so watch out. And then back off. Once you get the mechanics down, it should be pretty easy. No mark yet. So here comes the chain again, so you guys can see. We can keep hitting her, or you can just chill and wait. But yeah, you that purple orb right there—that is death. You wanna, you wanna tank, tank that hit for the person in chains. Let me reiterate: you actually have to sit there for a while. You cannot just assume that you bro you blew it up. You have to make sure that it blew up on you. It's kind of like the priest uh, heal orb. You have to make sure you actually get it.
here she's going to summon some stalactites and what you do here is you make sure that none of them are broken don't attack them um like us bots when we first did this dungeon that is your salvation so first of the mines are going to happen next is going to be the honeycomb um king you're gonna have to rush uh, rush her once she puts her hand up again trust me come, come in front of her right here she's gonna put her hand up and then we have to we have to eat it not right now, like on the next one when she puts her hands up, we're gonna have to eat the, the honeycomb. So she does the stellar attacks, I guess, one more time. And then when uh, you two, uh, um, Katana, right here, you have to eat it. Is this the mines? No, it's the mines, it's the mines, it's the mines. No, my bad, it, ha it has to be. It's this one, it's this one, it's this one right here. You just eat it. Nope, not, not, not that one. See right there, we ate most of the honeycomb. That way we protect the rest of the rocks. And then now, she's when she does her um, her wiping attack mechanic, you have plenty of rocks to, to, to live. So when you see the, the hieroglyphs on the ground, uh oh, we're gonna have to eat one more honeycomb king. It's gonna happen right here. Right after the, the mine, she does it again. All right, we gotta eat it. All right, cool. Now she's gonna slam down, and then you hide behind the rocks, right here. That's the hieroglyphs you wanna watch out for. Hieroglyphs. And th this dungeon pretty much is a joke at that point. If you don't have a rock, um, you'll die like Katana just did. But it's all good here. <laughs> Don't I? Yeah, I can't get you yet. Do I have a... Yeah, I can't. Ah, there goes the mines. Alright, now you can get up. There's the honeycomb, we gotta eat it. We gotta eat it, king. Oh, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. Oh, it was! Oh, no, this is what happens. Yeah, if you don't eat it, it actually does more damage because the, the honeycomb actually um, blows itself up. I mean, that, that worked out, so you guys can see what happens if you don't eat it. Te re realistically though, if you have a Crusader, a Berserker, or two Berserkers, you want them to do it, because they have higher defense. <coughs> Alright, here's the mines. Here's mines. Back off. Next one should be Honeycomb. Honeycomb, let's go. Come on, King. We gotta eat it. No, I can only eat so many. I I only have like four or five thousand defense. Get behind the rock. Oh, there's a rock right here. I'm going to this one. Oh, this is bad, Katana. All right. Yeah, he lying. He's lying. Oh, this is game. It's over. You just get her to 10%. After 10%, you pretty much finish the fight. She chains you up, and then you fight her again in Depths of Corruption, where she will literally clap your cheeks. But that's pretty much the second boss fight. Uh, Depths of Corruption is honestly... You can have a, you have a, you can have a great time. It's like a roller coaster ride of emotions. Scrolls will be used. So that's the second boss in a halls of the uh, of the of the eclipse of the dead. Honestly, the lichd one. This one should have been more undead, but these are miners. It's really weird. So, hey, katana. Right here's a pyre. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Let's go. So you're gonna get that one a mythic as well, just and use them interchangeably. I mean, it is the lowest roll.
Yeah, Crescent Moon's the, uh, the blessing you want to use for this one because of the mobs you're gonna have to deal with later, especially. But not for my character though. I'm still rocking Lionheart. Hey, he believes in magic. Yo, Katana literally just said, I am not dealing with that guy no more. <laughs> he just walked right past us. Lesson C is you, you, you definitely do that a lot in like PvP. You pull them up, you pull them closer to you if they try to run away. Oh, All right, so here we go. So here, what you want to do, um. Well, at first you want to look at her because she's amazing. Her name is Adria Test Subject, Isabella. She has 2,600,000 health. So you want to hit her and then just bring her in. Because you don't want her to fight there because she gets health regeneration there. Alright, now at 80% she does her first heal, so if you have a good squad, just, just DPS her so she doesn't get that much health. But um, what, what kind of distracts you is the amount of um, plants that spawn right next to you. So um, stop hitting her and back off. There's these little plants, you can step on them. Don't get them mixed up with those plants right there because those actually trap you. Um, you can tell because it's the one that light up. These spawn flowers and you don't want to hit her when she's in there because then she's going to start health regening. So don't you don't you don't want to attack her yet here either. You want to jump and move around because if you have the gaze, she's gonna spawn uh, vines around you. So you just want to take the vines to the wall. But right now she's stuck inside the actual. Uh, she's right there. Hold on, there she is. All right. Now we can. She'll 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 mark you and you'll let you know. Yeah. Now we're gonna group all the ads in this one area. And right now, when she slams, this is where you jump around and take the vines to the wall so they're not in the middle. So just, she does this twice. She does this twice. But you want to have some good CC for this area. I mean, otherwise you want to just step and let her get her health back and just focus on eliminating. The reason I don't worry about the ads is because you can actually use these plants as like uh, a meat shields for that deadly petals. They take they take all the hits for you. So the And then you DPS her and so she she health regens three times. So we did the first one. So now I've been infected and I wanna jump. Jump towards the wall because then she's gonna bring more plants. I don't see any there they are, see? Alright. If you do not move, you get trapped like that. And there's actually a. Uh, I'm gonna go into this one so you can see. I missed that one. I'll get the next one. So the next time she spawns a vine, I'm gonna run into it. It's fine. I wasn't paying attention.
All right, so you see that vine right here? I'm gonna get on top of it, and they disappeared. I'm purposely trying to get into it. It's not letting me, but it's not those because those are the ones that disappear. Now she's gonna go heal. So 80, 50. Those are the ones you want to look out for. And the next one, I believe, is at 20 or 30. So I'm gonna let them keep hitting it. And the other thing that you can do if someone is not confident and they don't want to deal with that many plants. They just kind of walk around and make sure that these aren't stepped on. But I don't typically do that because it's like if you have good CC, it's not an issue. Alright, let's take her out of the, the plants. So now her gaze is on me and we want to take these vines to the wall. Boom. Alright, so Echo is trapped right now, but he's fine. Alright, so if you have a Berserker or a Seder, you want to do your CC, like, bring them all in one group. So right now they're kind of all over the place. So we just kind of just all gather around the boss, and all the CC just kind of sorts itself out. Like, otherwise it gets, like, really messy. I mean, like, you, it's your choice. That's entirely up to you, whether you want to deal with all the plants, or you want to just step on them and let her get a little bit of health regen. Right now she's in the light. You have to. You, have to, you can't hit her there, Katana. Is she, re, she she regenerate there? Yeah. 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 You you don't want to. If you do have the mark, be careful, because it may not be intentional. But sometimes you might, as you're trying to run away, she just touches the light. The best thing about this boss is how squishy she is, though. Okay, I'm gonna get stuck on the, that 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 vine right here. Actually, I purposely in, instinctively dodged. I'm gonna stay still this time. So that's the one that lunges at you. Oh, sorry, I needed it. I needed it. All right, here goes the deadly pedal. So back off. There's no. We we killed too many of the plants, so they can't tank for us. So we could just all well, go to the back and then dodge all of these. And 19% is the last time that she actually does this. But after that, it's pretty much just DPS till she's dead. There is an achievement for warrior talents if you kill her in the light. And the easiest way to do that is actually by... Back off, back off. I can't, I can't. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, sorry. I got, I got, I got pots. Oof, that's gonna hurt right there. I see it. Yep, I see it. Alright. He's gonna slam the floor again, and then she used the vine, so take it to the wall. Alright, I'm gonna purposely get stuck by this vine right here. Oh, actually, no, there's a lot of plants. If you get stuck by the vine, you know what? I'll do it for the memes. Boom. She hasn't done the one. Oh, there goes the memes. It's fine. Do I want to use Siege right now? Nah. Yeah, she, she, she's easy to kill. Yep. After this next one, you should do the vines one more time. Take it to the wall. Yeah. Try not to run into your teammates. I almost screwed up King right there. Alright, now it's gonna grow on me. I'm gonna stay. Oh, actually, no, I don't wanna stay for that. Just kinda wanna show him what it looks like. There it is. That's what it is. That's what it looks like. You get trapped, you have to tap a button, and then you're out. See, if you have high defense, it doesn't really hurt that much. But if you don't have high defense, 
then that does a lot of damage. On my Crusader, it definitely doesn't do anything to me. And that's the end of this fight right here. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully learned how to get through this dungeon. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Mixer. Um, but if you do watch me on Twitch, I'm going to most likely be unresponsive because most of that, I uh, when I do stream on Twitch, it's because I'm getting content for YouTube. But, you know, here today we do have Dreamy GG, who's actually from Twitch. And then, aren't you a partner, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, yeah. So, Dreamy's a partner on Mixer, and she's streaming on Twitch, too. So, feel free to check her out, too. So, it's the Guild King, Katana, uh, and Hazard, as well as me, on my alt from the Guild. And, you know, our little, vi uh, our little guest. Our, oh, no. Uh, whoops. Hazard's not here. Deal with spirit and uh, dreamy. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to follow the socials, which is Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Discord, which is in the description box below, um, at the Guitars Five Six Two. So thanks.